All right, so now I'm in uh, the internet. I'm on my browser here, and I'm going to look up Intuit.com. Intuit is the owner of QuickBooks. So Intuit can be a little bit confusing because they have a lot of softwares like the TurboTax and so on, QuickBooks, MailChimp. We're going to go into the QuickBooks. So this part of the website has been pretty much the same for a long time. So I'm going into Intuit. I like to do that first because this part of the website is usually always the same. When I go into QuickBooks, sometimes this home page within QuickBooks differs. That's why I don't usually like to go it to it first. And I typically like to go all the way to the bottom because, again, this bottom bit has been the same for a long time, which basically lists out all of the QuickBooks products. You will recall that, or you might not know, but, but you probably have an idea that there used to be a desktop or there is a desktop version and an online version. For, and we'll talk possibly a little bit more about the desktop and online version later. But for small to mid-sized businesses, they seem to be trying to, to push everybody into the online version. So unless you're a larger company using like inventory and so on, or a job cost system and using enterprise for the desktop, then you might be going into the online because that's where Intuit seems to be pushing things. And so that's where we have here. So I'm going to go into the QuickBooks Online versus the QuickBooks Desktop. And then we have this page here. So if I scroll down, this is the page where, of course, you can purchase it if you so choose. We have these different options, which we might talk about later. We're going to mainly be looking at Plus because we want to look at the most common usage case here. And we're going to be dealing with inventory, which is one of the things that you really have to consider when you're choosing which file to use. So we're, we'll talk possibly more about that later. But if you wanted the 30-day free trial, you'd have to toggle this on over like this. And then you've got the 30-day free trial. And again, we can choose the plus, which is what we're going to be working with here, which is kind of the, the base uh, package. But then you can trim some stuff off for a cheaper price. We'll talk more about late, that later. Now, remember, once if you were to do this to practice the file, then you only have 30 days basically to practice with it. This is a very long course that we're looking at here. So you might not want to just log in there and do a 30-day trial because the first half of the course, we're not actually going to even be using this. We're going to be using the, the test drive. But I want to point it out now so that you can see the differences between the two. When you start a new company file, QuickBooks will often give you access possibly to like a 30-day trial. Now, let's just think of the of the mindset if you were into it if you were quickbooks why might this be they be doing this so you can get an idea of when you would be using one software version versus the other and and why they might allow certain things or disallow certain things right if i was into it if i was quickbooks into it's the owner of quickbooks what am i trying to do here i'm trying to give a 30 day free trial so that you put all of your data into the QuickBooks system, start using that data, possibly turn on the bank feeds, you see how cool it is. And once you locked it in, once you've locked all your data in, you're not gonna wanna stop, right? You're not gonna, then you're locked in for the 30 days and you're gonna basically keep on going after that 30 days. From a marketing standpoint, you would think that's what's going through the marketing department's mind at Intuit, the owner of QuickBooks, right? And so what we what we would like to be able to do is test out the software without locking ourselves in because the point on our side is to test the software. So that means when we test the software, we might want to test it while we run like our other accounting system on another software if we were going to put our actual data in it, running the two softwares parallel so that we can test it, right? and then possibly determine after the test whether we want to go ahead and purchase. When we go ahead and purchase, we might want to actually talk to our accountant and so on to make sure that we're getting the best discount. Because the other thing that's going to happen from a marketing standpoint is when we go in to buy QuickBooks Online with a 30-day trial, it might say, hey, look, if you, if you just pay right now, we're going to give you a cheaper price rather than the 30-day free trial. But the point is we want the 30-day free trial. So you would think that after the 30-day free trial, you don't want to pay the higher price, which, which means you might be able to talk to your accountant or do something at that point in time to still lock in the lower, 
the lower price, right? That's what we want to do. So what we'd like to do here is get access to just a sandbox system for a true 30 day trial with a software that has nothing in it so that we can actually practice it and see if it's if it's what we want to be using. That's what we would like to do for the purposes of this course, but we're not going to use this part of it until the second half of the course. So don't waste your 30 days signing up at the first half of the course, because if you're using it for the course, we're not going to really dive into it for the second until the second half.